Hey Reelers, welcome to another episode of Simply Real TV. Today I'm out ice fishing. It's another beautiful day in Colorado. Thought I would show you how I go out and find a fishing hole. Days like today when the sky's blue, there's no wind. Uh, I think it's 32 degrees out here, which is, it's warm enough to sit out, sit out on a bucket or whatever. So it'll be a day when I leave the ice hut here in the car and the heater and the propane. So that'll lighten up my sled and it'll actually help the strategy of being mobile and finding a spot to fish. Come along and I'll show you some of the things I do to find a good fishing spot and see what we can catch today. Sometimes you come across these holes that are pre-drilled, like somebody was fishing here and they left. So I'll break the ice out. And then I'll send my fish finder down there and see, see kind of what we have. That's just one of those things I kind of use to my advantage when I'm out here. And uh, not only that, if I see anything in one of these holes that looks promising, I can mark it on my GPS and uh, maybe come back to it or even stay here and fish it. Turn this Garmin on, we'll see what's down here. So here's what we have. Um, 16 feet of water here. No fish yet. Something I do too when I come up on a spot like this, I kind of look around and see what kind of bait the guy was using that was here last. Looks like he tried several things. He's got some night crawlers, some, uh, looks like some grubs, power bait all kinds of little clues around here. I'll just set this for a couple minutes and uh, watch for anything on the graph here. And if it doesn't look promising, I'll just move on. But it's always nice when you don't have to drill a hole to get some out. I'm not really seeing anything here. So we'll hit the road and see what's next. So come up on this next spot. Drop this down there. Okay, so we're about 10 feet deep here. There's something on the bottom, but it doesn't really look like a fish. That little blue line right down there at the bottom. Kind of watching that. Not convinced it's a fish yet. Might be a weed or something. So I'll sit here for a minute and see what shows up. If I don't see anything swimming under this area, I'm gonna move out a little deeper. Okay, so I got bored at that last spot. I moved over here. Um, went quite a ways, actually. I'm gonna check the thickness of the ice, and then we'll see how deep it is right here. I have an idea it's probably pretty deep here. So again, about 20 inches. Pretty thick. And for the depth. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, 64 feet right here. See any fish? <laughs> okay, so here's another hole. Let's see what's down in here. breeze today. See how thick the ice is in this spot. Twenty inches again. Sonar. Oh wow, four feet. Okay, look for some fish here. I might send a rod down here just to see if I can uh, stir anything up. All right, a little activity here. Okay, so I'm gonna try a trout magnet, orange, tipped with a wax worm. Lively little guy. Definitely seeing some fish down there. Getting a bite. Feels small. Got him. It's a little bigger. Okay. There's one. Put him back down. In we go. Didn't get that one on the big camera, but I got a release on it. It was a nine and a half inch trout on the green tube jig. First fish on my new 13 fishing rod. I was getting some good bites on both rods there. Ate my worm. That one's working good, so I put another worm on. Keep on fishing. So my blue rod is a clam ice sniper. 25 inch medium light. Caught a lot of fish on this rod and I busted the tip off, but it still works. <laughs> There's a good bite right there. Come on. And these are just the perfect kind of ice fishing days. If right now there's no breeze at all. Sun's nice and intense. Keeping me warm and my, took my coat off. I was getting too hot. Oop, blue rod. Oh man, here comes the fish. I'm gonna see if the blue will just hook itself up. Oh, I just about had one here. Okay, get a big commit here. Little rainbow, <laughs> almost back in a hole. Uh, nine and three quarters, not bad. This guy 
Stay, jig this one a little bit. Oh yeah, there it is. There's a fish. You know, orange and green is working today. And wax worms. Fish. Bite. Come on. Get ready. Yeah. Got him. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was a fun one. That was a little guy. Slimy little sucker. Okay, let's get this tube jig down there. All right, so there's two that I missed filming. That was a little tiny guy. He was eight and three quarters. Got the release. Now I've got a bite over here. So I caught two fish on the new pole on the green tube jig. Here's another one. Oh man, lost him. <laughs> Here we go. Get ready. That one over here. Get a buck jigging. Something I'm gonna put in my sled is a little pad for my knees. Seems like most of the time I'm fishing, I'm on my knees. Here we go. Small rainbow, nine incher, slimy, not bad. Another release. Another one. Catch them left and right. Another. 
nine and three quarters. It turned out to be a pretty decent fishing day. Um, bringing them in left and right. Probably one of my more productive fishing days. Um, nothing giant. still out here having a blast figuring these guys out um, figured out where they're at what they're eating starting to warm up so the ice is starting to shift here's what we ended up with our setup here uh, I got three holes got the old fish finder burning over there I uh, got out the hog trough. It's pretty handy for quick measuring. Anyhow, uh, we had the orange trout magnet was killing it on the the clam ice sniper rod. Then the uh, 13 fishing rod, my new one. We had the green tube jig. Tipped them with wax worms. I think I had a few bites on the pink trout magnet but no takers fish wise. So anyway, that's our lineup. So guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you like the content, hit that thumbs up button. If you wanna be notified of more videos in the future, hit that notification bell. And uh, if you're into ice fishing or kayak fishing, hit that subscribe button. I'll keep posting content on this channel every time I go out. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.